today we have uh, about a 130 meter drop going to that house over there. Those are four units. I've already ran a drop for unit one and two. Now I'm running another double for unit three and four. So it's going off this pole and then kind of just veers off. There's no strand past this pole. So right now I'm, I have my handy dandy spool that a friend gave me um, to use. So I'm gonna be using this to pull the 200 meter drop, extend it out, but there's lines that cross the road right here and I have to get over top of them because I wanna be behind the strand but if I were to run it behind from here, then I would get stuck with the drop underneath and I want to have it over top. So hopefully you can see that and uh, you'll be able to see what I do here in a sec. So I'm going to prep this and then uh, do a toss to get the drop over top of these lines and then over to the MPT that's over there where my ladder is. Throw it over, just do a little knot like that, have a carabiner on my throw bag. And... Uh, yeah, clip that in. I'm just gonna release some string. And then all I have to do is get it over top of this line. Not stuck in the tree. Here we go. Sweet. So now I can tie these lines off right here and then it'll bring it up and over those lines. And then from there, I'll send it field side, and then I'll be up here. So I'll see you up at the pole. The line over. And now we're ready to get over to the nap. Okay. So we're up. What's going on here? Such a mess with these existing drops. I ran my drop here and I'm coming up on field side, but uh, because of the slope of the, the sag of the strand, it looks like I'm on top of it. Anyways, so I have my drop here. Currently we're in front, so I'm gonna run it to the back. And over to the nap. So, I think that should reach. Pass it through here for now. This, this is done wrong, obviously. Okay. Send my drops through there. Feed them through here. slack there okay a little awkward normally I'm on the left of the nap but going into port 7 Okay, it's nice and tight. Put these together. Okay, so there's the drop plugged in. I'm gonna groom all this and then uh, I'll see you guys back. Okay, so we have the drop plugged in. We have the secondary drop parked up top above the MPT. We have the waterfall groomed. And uh, unfortunately I can't fix these lines. They were pre-existing. But these are the lines that I've ran so far. Coming this way, anchored off my same clamp. And uh, now we're heading down to the next pole. So yeah. Up the second pole we go. Ladder's a little short here. 
we'll make do. Oh, don't trap the line. Same problem I had last time. The way the strand sags. Not much I can do. Putting the hanger on, I'm sure if you can see. Then attention. Maybe a little bit more. Looks good there. Matches the other one. We pass through here. Perfect. Look at this. So bad. Out of viewer tell me this is how you put clamps, and that is a no no. Why would you ever put a clamp sideways? It makes no sense. I understand that this hook would never come off the way this is. But look, does that look right to you? It doesn't allow the, the line to orientate properly or feed new drops through. And this is running roadside, which is wrong. But it's fine. I gotta stop being such a critic. This J hook is getting a little congested. All of these copper lines are gonna be cut down soon. So all these fibers are replacing. So there we go hanger do my loop and press those it's good to tighten that up looks good Good. Sit down with this. And also these. Beauty. I'm gonna cut these, then I'm gonna head over to that pole. Almost there. Last pole. Um, I'm gonna go to J this J hook. This. Uh, line is kind of in the way but it's fine i'll make it work it's the same hook i used last time and we're following this copper line to the house over there between those two units i'm short one hanger though which is a shame i'll hang this up and then uh see you guys at the house Perfect. Gonna do a loop and come off. Alrighty. Little sketch. My ladder's a bit shorter than I thought it would be. Uh, the ram horn's up here. It's all good though. I can reach. It's just kind of awkward. These power lines are in my face. But. They are a foot apart on separate walls, so I think we're good there. Put the hanger on. Oh.
There we go. I'm going to get on those. Now I'm going to tighten it and then saddle it down. Beautiful. Up. Decided I'm gonna put it right here. Beauty. The back of this has these little offsets right here, like where my where the holes go. And I usually just tuck that right under the siding to get it level with the siding. Usually it's the oops. Usually it's the best way to get it level quickly. I've gone a little farther. much better.
Okay, so that's this drop pretty much done. Turned out to be about 120 meters total. This is a double drop that's gonna feed both this unit and this unit, which is my current orders for this. But uh, the, the tech who's doing the install asked me to run both, so I did. And then I've already ran the drops for the next two units down there. And uh, yeah, a little bit sketchy. Some poles are high, some messed up hooks, but all in all, everything went good. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and comment. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to drop that sub.